Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Now as regulars of the GliderCat channel already know, I browse over a thousand games each and every month looking for the hidden gems and underrated games that many people haven't heard about. I love getting the word out about these amazing games as quickly as I can and this top upcoming PC game series is where I provide you with a quick look at some of the games I've recently discovered through my research. Now the theme for this edition, Volume 3, is Factory Automation, pretty much the same as Volume 2. I like Factory Automation games. So we'll be looking at both upcoming and recently released games that fall into that general category. Now I'm going to just give a brief overview of each game with the goal of getting these games on your radar so you can follow them, track them, join the discords, potentially get a chance to uh, play test them, etc, etc. Now stay tuned to the GliderCat channel as I plan to post more content and a deeper look into some of the games mentioned in the weeks to come. Now these list videos, they take a lot of time to put together, so I want to quickly thank GliderCat channel members and patrons whose contributions make this content possible. Thank you so very much. Uh, if you'd like to help support the content on the GliderCat channel, you can find links to do so in the description below. Also, please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more upcoming games videos like this one. They do take a lot of work. I tend not to make a lot of them, but I do think they're, they're pretty useful. So let me know in the comments what you think or if there's anything you'd like to see improved. All right, now let's get started. First on our list is Tectonica. You'll be spending most of your time beneath the surface of an alien planet mining and exploring in this first person factory builder. Tectonica is being developed by Firehose Games. It's been under development for about two and a half years, and there's currently a team of 17 plus people working on it. That is a good sized team, and it holds a lot of promise for uh, what this game could become. Now, I've been following this one for several months and have been anxious to get on the GliderCat channel for quite some time, but it's only recently that they've begun to reveal some of the early gameplay footage. Now, here's some of what it says on Steam. Welcome to the strangely beautiful, bioluminescent, and mysterious subsurface alien world of Tectonica. Take mining and production to new heights by constructing sprawling, efficient factories and turning the alien caverns into your base of operations. Bend the ground to your will and clear space for your ever-expanding factory. Tunnel your way to massive ore deposits and secret hidden caves to find rewards and scan the aging artifacts that you discover. Okay, that's some of what it says on Steam, but there is much more to the game than what is written there. Now, unlike other factory games, Tectonica will have a good deal of lore and backstory that is revealed as you play. Exploration will be a key component of the game, including points of interest scattered across the game world that will both advance the backstory and provide you with discoveries that will assist you on your journey. There are no enemies in the game, no fall damage or health bars to worry about, and the developers say they're striving to make Tectonica a game where players can maximize their time in a flow state, kind of without some of those common annoyances you might encounter in other factory games. So they're looking to get you kind of in a zen state where you can just lose track of time, <laughs> lose track of time, right? So Tectonica is currently slated to enter in alpha sometime in july of 2022 that's right that's like tomorrow as i record this so i put a link to the tectonica discord in the description where you can sign up for the upcoming alpha release again i don't know exactly when that's going to be it's just sometime in july is what i've heard now be sure to let them know that GladderCat sent you if you join the discord as for an early access release date they haven't decided yet on when that's going to be which is actually probably a good sign Sometimes when they, you know, specify a release date too early, that puts a lot of pressure on the developers and we end up with a rushed game. I'd rather not, I'd rather them take them time and do a good job. And there's again, a team of 17 plus people working on this. So that, man, that just sounds awesome. Now there's a lot more about Tectonica that I'd love to share with you. So watch for an early preview video of the game or even a Let's Play series to show up on the GliderCat channel soon. I've got my fingers crossed that I can gain access to that uh, to that alpha or early alpha that's coming up. And as soon as I do, I will be recording content featuring Tectonica. Now, again, with the size of the team it has behind it, I really believe Tectonica could be a major player in the genre. 
So this is definitely one to keep an eye on. Get it on your wishlist. It's on Steam, so you can uh, get it on your wishlist. And again, I'll put links to the Discord and everything in the description. Very enthusiastic about Tectonica. All right, next we have Engineer Alpha. Engineer Alpha is an open world survival and automation game that takes place on an infinite voxel world. It's being developed by a solo game developer and it's available now in early access on Steam so you can purchase it and play it today. I've been following this one since September of 2021 and while it's still quite early in its development, the progress on the game and the developer updates have been very steady and consistent since that time. Now in the version of Engineer Alpha at the time of this recording, you're able to mine and process a few different types of raw resources, implement some automation using conveyors, and work your way through a small tech tree. I find that Engineer Alpha plays a little slower than other factory games, and it reminds me a lot of an early version of Evo Space if you're familiar with that game. I do have a first look video and a Let's Play series featuring Evo Space on the GladderCat channel if you're interested to learn more about that game. It's pretty cool as well. It's really cool as well. It's a little bit quite a bit further along than Engineer Alpha, but again, Engineer Alpha has that kind of kind of similar feel to it. Now, Engineer Alpha makes heavy use of rotational or kinetic power that you generate using large windmills or Stirling engines. Uh, there's also some unique innovations like the huge crane you can see in this footage provided to me by the developer. There's also a long list of features contained in the planned roadmap for the game, including electricity generation and transmission, new space age machinery and technology, the addition of monsters to battle along with loot, and even trains have been mentioned as additions to the game. The developer posts a new devlog on Steam nearly each and every week so you can keep up with what he's currently working on. Engineer Alpha is just a unique game that I find intriguing. It feels very early to me, even for early access feels a little early. I think it holds a ton of promise. I've played it for a few hours now. I've not run into any real defects, but again, it does feel early. I think there's a lot more content that, uh, that is coming. Now, I recommend checking it out if you like what you're seeing in this footage and at least wishlisting and joining the Discord to keep up with its ongoing development. Uh, as with all of the games featured in this video, I'll put plenty of helpful links in the description. Engineer Alpha is a game I plan to feature more on the channel as it becomes further developed, so definitely stay tuned or subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the GladderCat channel for more content featuring Engineer Alpha. I think it shows a ton of promise and there's a, there's a good foundation already in place. Definitely check it out. Next up, it's Automation Station. This one is pretty cute and it brings some innovation as well. And if you like a bit of puzzles mixed in with your automation, then I think this one is going to be right up your alley. Automation Station is yet another game being developed by a solo developer, and it already looks fantastic. There's no release date specified yet. However, the developer is very active on the game's Discord, and that's a great place to keep up with the progress on the game. As with other automation games, you have your standard coal, iron, and other resources to mine conveyors, storage containers, etc. All the stuff you're used to, but Automation Station brings some unique constraints and new, even more unique machines to assist you in building your factory. Puzzles and creativity appear to be key ingredients of this game. For example, you won't find a common belt splitter in the game, so you'll have to come up with some solutions of your own using new machines that I've not seen before in other factory games. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, take a look at these alternative implementations for splitting a conveyor belt. So you're going to need to put your uh, your creative hat on and come up with unique solutions to uh, overcome missing components that you may be used to in other games, kind of like a belt splitter. Now, Automation Station is still quite early in its development, but the creativity going into this game is already abundantly apparent. The developer shows a great deal of enthusiasm in sharing and engaging with the community, and it all just looks great. There's a ton of promise in this one, and Automation Station is a game that I plan to keep a close eye on as it makes its way through development. Next up, it's Infindustry. Now, most of the games in this video are either not yet available or they're in early access. Infindustry is the exception as it's fully released right now, but it is very new and not many people seem to be aware of it. 
Now this one takes heavy inspiration from the game Factory Town, and I think most gamers familiar with Factory Town will notice that straight away, but it does bring some of its own innovations as well and can stand on its own. Now the description on Steam reads, Infindustry is a relaxing industry factory builder where you build, manage, automate, optimize, and expand an industrial village by exploiting various resources to create items. Now there's a tutorial to get you started and there are dozens and dozens of different raw resources and refined products in the game that are going to keep you plenty busy as you work your way through the very, very large tech tree and manage your ever expanding village. Infindustry does have enemies that will come to attack your village, but you can pretty much choose when they start coming since they won't appear until you unlock military technology. Or, if you don't like enemies at all, you can disable them entirely in the game settings. So that's always cool. I know a lot of players like having that option to turn off the enemies. I play with both. Sometimes I play with enemies, sometimes I turn them off. Just depends what I'm in the mood to do. Now, since its release on May 4th, 2022, it's received a steady stream of bug fixes and small updates to its content. Uh, it is a fully released game, as I mentioned at the top, and I've only played it for a short while so far, but I'd love to sink more time into it. So let me know if this is a game you'd like to see more of on the Gladder Cat channel. Again, this one is in Findustry, takes heavy inspiration from Factory Town, if you're familiar with that game. Kind of scratches the same itch. Check it out. Okay, now at this point in the video, some of you might be saying, hey, I already knew about a couple of those games. What else you got that I haven't heard of? All right, well, let's see if you heard of this one. This one is cool. It's called Rust Forge, and at the time of this recording, it doesn't even have a page on Steam yet. Now, I've been following Rust Forge for about two months, but it's been under development for at least three years. Been hard for me to uh, to locate this one. Now, we're looking at some early footage here, and there's not much information out about the game just yet. I did chat with the developer on Discord, and he said, quote, Rust Forge is a game about crafting, automation, and exploration on procedurally generated planets. Exploration is the key to finding resources, Finding resources is essential for growth, and protecting the very things you've managed to build is crucial to survive. Now you'll notice in the game's tagline it says, Explore, Grow, Protect. And that last word, protect, is pertinent because Rust Forge will have some form of tower defense and something precious in the game that the player needs to protect from enemies. I'm not sure what that is. The developer didn't reveal that to me. Now, the developer went on to mention that a backstory and lore will be a key part of the game. Again, Rust Forge is still very early in its development, and several concepts and components of the game are actively being prototyped as I'm making this video. Now, at this very moment, as I mentioned at the top, there is no Steam page yet, but I highly recommend joining the Discord if this looks interesting to you. Having said that, boy, this one looks really cool to me, and I plan to keep a very close eye on it. I really hope to dive into RustForge more deeply on the channel in the coming weeks and months, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Love to feature this one in an early preview, so I'm going to keep uh, in contact with the developer. And as soon as I can get my hands on a build, <laughs> I'm going to get it on the channel. But yeah, that's RustForge. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of this one before watching this video. I'm curious to know because I was surprised to find this one. I'm happy to find it. I think it's a rare find not many people know about just yet. Next up is a game called The Last World by Razer Game Studio. This one is slated to enter early access in the beginning of 2023. While it's still very early in its development, I've played for a while, a few hours, I think, and there's already quite a bit of content in place. The Steam says The Last World is a sci-fi simulation game with elements of space, adventure, survival, and automation. Now, in The Last World, you're going to mine and process ores into advanced materials, trade or invest your resources in upgrades and new buildings, build out and automate your ever-expanding factories with underground conveyors and drones, and then manufacture computer chips to feed your research laboratories and work your way through the three tech trees that are planned for the game. Now, modding and customization are key themes in The Last World. In the game, you'll be controlling robots which are both highly modular and customizable. Each robot is made up of several different components that affect its performance, and there are dozens of different components and tools that you can choose from to build out your own unique robots, and they're the ones that are going to be doing all the work. 
While it's still very early, The Last World already shows that it's going to have a ton of depth in gameplay. Now, I'll put links in the description, and I highly recommend checking out the Steam page for more information. The developer spent a good amount of time putting that page together, and there's a lot of information about the game there. At time of this recording, there's also a playtest sign-up available on Steam. Highly recommend signing up for the playtest. That's what I've been playing. And I've been playing myself for about, I'd say it's been about seven hours now as I think of it. And I really like how the game is shaping up. Now there's definitely a lot of quality of life uh, improvements needed. It's still early in the development, but what's there is impressive. I really like the direction this game is going. And again, I find that there is a lot of depth already being put into the game. So stay tuned to the GliderCat channel as I hope to create an early preview video for The Last World where I'll go into a bit more depth about what this game is all about. Looks super cool. Highly recommend checking this one out. It shows a lot of promise. Last up, it's Total Factory by Total Craft Games. This one's not on Steam, though it is available now on itch.io. Uh, I'll put links to that in the description. Total Factory is an automation base builder game where in addition to building a factory, you'll also need to defend against enemy mechs. You start with a small base on a new planet and work to complete tasks given to you by the corporation that sent you there. This usually involves producing certain amounts of advanced products from the raw materials that you harvest on the planet and then beaming them off the planet, kind of like you do in Satisfactory with the space elevator kind of thing. As you complete each of these tasks, you'll unlock new technologies that allow you to improve and expand your factory. You'll start off slow by doing some hand mining and crafting, but soon you'll be building large factories with conveyors, power generation, and defenses. You share the planet with enemy mechs who patrol the area and will occasionally attack your growing base. Now, if you want to weaken those attacks, you'll need to venture out and find and destroy the platforms that these enemy mechs spawn in on. In addition to the mech that you operate, you can place defensive turrets and supply them with ammunition to help in your fight against the enemy invaders. I believe you can also build companion mechs that will fight by your side and help protect the base. And you can build medic and repair mechs that will set out to repair everything, including you, after you've been attacked. Now, Total Factory doesn't feature AAA graphics, but I've played the game for a few hours now and you can really tell the time and attention that the developers put into the game. It won't be for everyone, but I've enjoyed playing it and I plan to play it more. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on its development. If you like what you see here and it looks interesting to you, I recommend giving Total Factory a deeper look. Again, I'll put links to that itch.io page on the description. I don't believe there's a Discord. I'll double check here and if there is, I'll place a link. But for now, I think it's just the uh, the page on itch.io. Total Factory, give it a look. Pretty cool. All right, so those are the new games I wanted to cover and get on your radar. Now I just wanted to take a minute and give you some quick updates from games featured in the previous episode of my upcoming game series. That one also featured automation games, much like this one. First is Captain of Industry. This is probably my favorite factory game to come out in several years. There's just a ton of depth and hundreds of hours of gameplay in Captain of Industry. Now, the latest news for this game is that they recently released into early access on May 31st, 2022. Uh, their Steam reviews are currently sitting at very positive. It's like a 92% positive as I record this. And uh, they're steadily climbing and I expect they're soon going to hit overwhelmingly positive. It's just it's just that good of a game. Now, they've had a long and steady stream of content updates over the course of the last year. And I believe there are now maybe five or six different maps that you can play on. And along with those maps, there are many, many settings for tweaking the starting conditions and overall difficulty. So lots of replayability. Now, the developers are highly engaged with the community on Discord, and they post devlogs every two weeks like clockwork, uh, and they share what they're currently working on and what things about the game that they're seeking player input about. So you can check those out both on Steam and then on their website, too. I'll try to remember to put a link to their actual game website in the description. Now, I have a lot of content featuring Captain of Industry on the Glider Cat channel. I think it's like the, the most featured game on my channel. So if you're new to Captain of Industry or even just now learning about it for the first time, definitely check out the Let's Plays here on the channel. Next, it's Astro Colony. 
The release date for this one is Q3 2022, but the big news is that the developer recently posted a free demo of Astro Colony on Steam. If you're a fan of this genre, then it's a no-brainer to go download that demo and give this game a spin. You never know how long they're going to keep those demos up there, so don't wait too long before giving it a try. The developer has been actively engaged with the player community on the game's Discord, including several regular viewers of the Gladder Cat channel. I see him in the Discord often. And he's been releasing a steady stream of significant updates to Astro Colony. Now, I featured this game in a short preview Let's Play series about a year ago, but so much has been added to the game since then that I'm super anxious to jump back in. Definitely check it out if you're just learning about Astro Colony, and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a Let's Play series featuring Astro Colony on the GliderCat channel. Next, it's Junk Punk, and I did recently post a Let's Play series featuring the latest update, which included the Monolith 2 feature in the game it's all it was already a very cool game but their latest update really kicked things up a couple of notches and it more than doubled the amount of gameplay available now the team is not yet finished there are at least two more monoliths coming according to the roadmap that they have posted on steam and the developers have recently posted a video discussing their upcoming plans which include adding vehicles to the game introducing more lore and more story and then expanding the exploration aspects of the game. Now the first release was a little rocky, but they were quick to publish bug, fi bug fixes uh, and they've got kind of a, a good track record of responding quickly to player issues. I mean like very same day, next day kind of thing. And then this most recent update, as I mentioned, was just a huge leap forward. I think the future for this game is extremely bright. It's just they've got a solid foundation and they've just, like I said, made a quantum leap forward with the last update. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be a demo for the Junk Punk, but if it looks interesting to you, check out the latest Let's Play season here on the Glider Cat channel, and you just might end up picking up the game yourself. Okay, next is Factory Magnite. Now, I've been following this one closely for well over a year now. It's not yet ready to play, but over the last six months or so, there appears to have been a ton of progress and work put into the game. The developers got a lot of momentum now. I check in with, uh, with the developer regularly, and when we last spoke, he mentioned that he's currently working on balancing issues within the game, such as when, you know, when a certain technology in the tech tree should be unlocked and what degree of boost or benefit it should provide, that kind of stuff. He also mentioned that he intends to make a demo available soon and possibly even an early playtest as well. Now, nothing is carved in stone yet, so we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, as soon as I can gain access to an early build of Factory Magnate, I plan to create an early preview video featuring the game and maybe a Let's Play series as well. Uh, in the meantime, I recommend adding this one to your Steam wishlist. If it looks like something you'd be interested in playing, I've been trying to get access to this game for over a year. Every once in a while, I'll send, I'll message the developer on Discord and tell him that the key he sent me isn't working and I need him to resend it, but he hasn't, he hasn't fallen for any of my tricks yet. But hopefully soon, we'll get to see more of this game here on the GliderCat channel. Stay tuned for that. And the last update I wanted to give you is for a cool little game called Cyber Factories. Again, I featured this one in the previous Top Up Coming Games video, and I played a very early version of Cyber Factories, I'd say about a year ago, and I really kind of liked it. Now, at the time, I thought it was unique and it had a lot of potential. There wasn't a lot of, you know, a lot of depth yet. It was an early, early version of the game. However, since I last featured Cyber Factories on the channel, development on the PC version of the game has been halted and uh, a mobile version of is currently in the works. Now, the developer told me that the mobile version is totally different from the PC version, and he's had to simplify the game quite a bit for mobile devices. So I'm not my personally, I'm not terribly interested in that, but definitely, you know, look it up on your mobile device of choice for Cyber Factories and check it out. But the good news for me, or potentially the good news, is that if the mobile version does well, he said there's a chance he'd resume work on the PC version of the game. Again, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with this one. Uh, there is still a free demo available on Steam today for the PC version of Cyber Factory, so you can go check that out. I'll put a link to it in the description. And again, I'm going to keep my eye on this one. I thought, it, like I said, when I first saw it and played it, 
I thought it was unique. I thought it had promise. I still do. So I'm going to keep an eye on this one. And as there are updates, I'll share them with you here on the channel. And then hopefully someday soon, we'll be able to play an extended version of the game. All right, those are the games for this edition of my top upcoming PC games series. Did you see any cool games in that list that you found interesting? Or are there some upcoming games in the factory automation space that you think I left out? Either way, definitely let me know in the comments. Like I mentioned at the top, I'm a huge fan of this genre. I spend a lot of time looking, uh, researching games, and uh, these ones always catch my eye. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's a bunch of links in the description where you can find information about each of the games I've covered, including including the ones that I did the uh, little updates for. So check in the description for that. I do plan to feature several of these games in greater depth in the weeks to come. So make sure you're subscribed to the Glider Cat channel to see more and also to learn about more cool upcoming games. Now, for a somewhat deeper look into upcoming games like the ones featured in this video and many, 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 many others, I highly recommend checking out my first look playlist. OK, I'll put a link to that in the description and there's just a ton of awesome games that you can learn about in that list. I know you will find many, probably several that you haven't heard of before that you're interested in. So definitely check that out. Whenever I find new games I'm interested in, that's usually the first place they drop. Lastly, the Glider Cat channel is pretty small and it's kept alive by the generous support of channel members and patrons. I simply couldn't keep the channel going without them. If you'd like to help support content like this, please consider hitting that thanks button below or signing up to support the channel. I've put links to support the Glider Cat channel in the description and your support is very sincerely appreciated. I really mean it. And that's it for now. This is GliderCat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this content. I'm going to get back to researching new games and hopefully come up with another list before too long. And I'll see you in the next one.